Lakers. In the Laker big man tradition, Anthony Davis sparkles in Game 1. Only Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Shaquille O'Neal previously had 30 points and 20 rebounds in a Lakers playoff game. Anthony Davis being guarded by Draymond Green. Davis had 30 points and 23 rebounds in Game 1. Credit, Ezra Shaw Getty Images. San Francisco, Anthony Davis sat coming to LeBron James, watching as James heaped praise upon him. The Lakers' ballot over the times, over the course of their actuality, has always had dominant big men, dominant guys that have been a force at the verge, James said Tuesday night. After a dominant performance by Davis in the Lakers' Game 1 win in their Western Conference semi-final series against the Golden State Dogfaces. That's why their jerseys are in the rafters. Bulletin will be over there when he's done playing. James went on for another minute in the same tone. Once he finished, Davis gentled him on the reverse. I'll take my watch coming week, James said smiling at his joke about a quid pro quo. Or a bus. Although this series has stirred nostalgia for the times when James and Dogface's guard Stephen Curry used to face off every June 4th and .b.a. Crown, it could depend on Davis. Who has the implicit to be the swish player in it? He has not always been that, having been prone to injuries and inconsistent play. But on Tuesday night, Davis showed just what his dominance can mean to the Lakers, as he pushed them to a 117-112 win on the road over the defending champion Dogfaces. Resting down home court advantage. Curry finished with 27 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists while two other Golden State guards, Clay Thompson and Jordan Poole, also transcended 20 points. Davis finished the game with 30 points, 23 rebounds, and 4 blocks. With at least 30 points and 20 rebounds, Davis joined elite company in Lakers playoff history Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Shaquille O'Neal. The most drastic statistical difference between the armies was a direct result of Davis's play the Lakers outscored the dogfaces inside the makeup by 54-28. His everything farce, Lakers guard Dennis Schroeder said. Defensively, offensively, big part for this association. I mean, was N Tan All Star, was N the defensive player of the time. He's taking it serious, doing everything for us, and he's the anchor. James and Davis have played together since the 2019 20 season, when they led the Lakers to the Ballot 17 championship, credit Ezra Shaw Getty Images. That James and Curry were the narrative center of this series made sense. They are two of the swish to have ever played in thin.b.a, and each has won four crowns. They played against each other in the tests every time from 2015 to 2018, and each has won a crown since also as well, James in 2020 and Curry last season. This is the first time since 2018 that the two have faced each other in the playoffs, and there were cornucopia of moments Tuesday night when they commanded the stage. Before the game, the two shared a laugh at the songwriter's table. Midway through the alternate quarter, while Davis was shooting free throws, James wandered down the sideline with Curry, who was heading to the Golden State bench. James stayed by Curry's side until he sat down, and indeed also continued talking to him. He was just joking around about having to guard me all the way till I got to the bench, Curry said. But at halftime, James was with Davis. The two of them walked off the court together, shoulder to shoulder, stride for stride. The scene was suggestive of their first time together, the 2019-20 crown season. When Davis and James hardly went anywhere without each other and awaited for each other to finish their on-court interviews after every game. The Lakers gave up a lot to acquire Davis the summer before that season, including players who would come critical pieces for other votes. But Davis sounded to award the Lakers right down. He was named to all NBA and each defensive first armies. He was a candidate for the Defensive Player of the Time Award. He fit perfectly on James's team. Part of what made that cooperation work so seamlessly was the way their personalities knitted. Davis no way demanded to be the center of attention. James didn't mind it, 
indeed thrived in it. We were not jealous of each other, James said during the 2020 N.B.A. tests. That dynamic came into play on Tuesday night when James and Curry were the center of attention. Davis might not seek attention, but on the court he requires it, especially when he plays the way he did in Game 1. We know that's what he's suitable of, Lakers coach Darvin Ham said. It's great. We demanded every bit of all those points and rebounds and blocked shots, assists as well. Though Davis bettered at defending inside the makeup, he made his presence felt all over the court. Late in the game, he thwarted the dogfaces shortly after Curry tied the game with a heart-stopping three-pointer with 1 minute 38 seconds remaining that limited a 14-0 run. Lakers guard D'Angelo Russell scored, getting the lead back for the Lakers. Moments subsequently, Curry tried again, this time driving toward the hand basket, only to have his shot blocked by Davis. With 39.3 seconds left and the Lakers up by three, Davis sees the answer off a miss by Poole. Davis was aggressive offensively as well and sounded indefatigable despite playing 43 beats 50 seconds, further than any other player. He played the entire alternate half. Davis is comprising 22.1 points per game during the playoffs by making half-off shots, credit, Kerry Edmondson USA Today Sports.